Hello, this is Ike from Spot Home London and today we're going to be seeing a four bedroom home in East London. Now, to get a sense of where we are, we do have East India DLR station only about a five minute walk away from the front door. Now, as for the area, it's very quaint and residential, so it's going to be very quiet. And we do have Canary Wharf about a five minute journey away, that's going to be by bus and the bus stop is four minutes away. So we're looking at about a 10 minute journey to get to Canary Wharf. Very great, especially if you work in the area. Now, as for the rooms, there are four in total and we're going to be seeing three of them, so let's go ahead and see them. So that's the view of outside of the home. As we enter, you see we have beautiful hardwood floor, as well as the staircase to the left. Now downstairs we're going to have two bedrooms and a bathroom and the bedrooms are going to be labelled D and C. So we'll see bedroom D first. Here it is. This room features a double bed as well as an ensuite bathroom around to the left. We have storage space with the two standalone wardrobes. So we've got a shelving in this one. View of the room from this angle looks like this. And inside of these built-in storage, it's going to look like this. So the other one will also be identical. And it'll be quite narrow. So as for the ensuite bathroom, we can see we have the box shower to the right, toilet, and the sink and radiator are going to be here. So here's the bathroom on the ground floor. We have the shower right in front, and on the left, the toilet as well as the sink and mirror. So here we have the radiator on the wall. That's the bathroom. Now, as for out here in the hallway, we do have space underneath the stairs. So we do have some extra storage here. Now, as for room C, this room is very spacious and also has a lot of light due to the two windows that have a view out into the garden. This room has hardwood as well, double bed, and then a very similar standalone wardrobe. So around the corner, we'll just have extra space. So that's around there. And now we'll head upstairs to see the kitchen as well as the living room. So as we head up the stairs, we'll see we have the carpet steps that leads to, again, the hardwood floor. So first thing to the left will be the kitchen. And the first thing we'll see is the French doors that lead out into the garden. So we already have a lot of light in this room also. And a very spacious kitchen. So now as for the kitchen, it's immaculate and has a nice contrast with the darker countertops and the white cupboards. So, as for the appliances, we can see we do have a stove, an oven right here. Next would be the dishwasher. We've got a microwave, as well as the toaster and kettle. And down below, we do have a washing machine. So now the fridge and freezer will be here and we do have plenty of space up top for any food or kitchenware with the cupboards so look outside in the garden so you have the steps and we can also see the neighboring gardens and buildings 
So we'll just get a view from the back of the home. We'll see it looks like this. So now finally, we'll see the living room as well as the balcony. So through here is the living room. It's currently unfurnished. And we can see the two French doors that lead out to the balcony. So here's the balcony as well as the view. And now upstairs would be the final two rooms. We'll be seeing one of them, which would be bedroom B. So again, we'll have the carpeted steps that lead up to the last floor. So down to the right is going to be bedroom A. In the center, we have the boiler. And then inside of this cupboard is going to just be extra storage. It's now bedroom B. It's going to be through here. So again, we'll have a double bed in this room, an ensuite around the corner, and very large storage unit with the built-in wardrobe right as we enter the door. So now we'll notice that two of the doors do feature full-length mirrors. So this side will have space for clothes, a shelf up top, and on the left it's going to be even more space for clothes. So lastly, well before we see the bathroom we can just get another view outside of this window. And then as for a view inside of the bathroom, it will look like this. So here we'll have a shower and of course the sink and toilet. So that's it for this East London home. So that has been it for this beautiful home in East London. For more information make sure to check out spothome.com. Until next time, bye bye.